Hello and welcome to Danger Zone. I'm John and you are? Brett. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask for some ID later because I'm not sure you're old enough to play this game. I'm quite old enough, sir. Yeah, well then why would you call me sir if you were old, if you never mind. Be a polite sir. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yeah, that's what they always, they, they always call me sir when they're too young. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're here at uh, the Gold Top Spire or the Steeple in the Sky or whatever you want to call it. Steeple in the Sky. You like Steeple in the Sky? Yeah, yeah you nice, got it. Nice alliteration. Nice alliteration. Okay, fine. That's what we're here to do, to alliterate. Yes, of course. Okay, I'm glad we got that alliterate out of the way. Alliterate the illiterate. <laughs> okay. What a great deodorant? They <laughs> said alliterate the illiterate. What a great Alliterate the illiterate, yes. <laughs> Well, that stinks. Anyway, um, so what's going on here is this is kind of a tricky one. Um, nothing is worth anything except the black ones, which are hundreds, and the yellow ones on top, which are thousands. So that's a lot of hundreds and maybe six thousands. Okay. Um, n nothing is worth anything else is worth anything, including the jewels. They're just pretty. Which are just pretty. Um, and also, they're there to either help or get in the way... You never know until you start playing. Now, Brit has uh, how many? Uh, how many quarters? Show him how many quarters, Brit. This many. Now that's a very precise, precise measurement you're taking there. This yeah, many. This many. Okay. Um, and we're gonna have 15 minutes, and uh, it's a real challenge. We'll, we don't know how long they'll stay up. Um. Um, we don't know if, we, if we're going to be able to get the uh, tower to move enough. And uh, we just don't know a gosh darn thing, do we, Britt? No. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, go. You went before it said go. Uh. We're going to have to stop a tenth of a second early at the end. Whoa! That was pretty good. That quick. was good, but they all fell backwards. Right. All right, so, so no. that means we got to get them off the playing field. we got to get them off the playing field somehow. And you know where a lot of them fell? Well, where? Behind this tower. Of course, right behind the tower. And on the backfield. Yep. At least they didn't fall off. That's a good thing. So they're all in play, but whether we can get them off the field is a whole, into our pockets is a whole other question. I think we can have faith. Have faith? Faith. Yeah. We're supposed to have faith while the love of money is the root of all evil? Oh, it's the root of evil for sure. How much evil have you rooted with lately? None. But. Yes. I read and that's what it says. You read evil? No. I thought you liked all those evil shows. Like vampires? Like what flyers? Vampires. Man flyers? Vampires. 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 Oh, yeah, good. If you said it another time, one would appear. No, you know what I'm really interested in now? Bridgington. Oh, right, because the uh, the sweet little thing it finally looks like she's going to be getting her son. What? Oh, are you way behind? What season are you on? I, okay, so I'm technically really on season three, yeah. but I restarted it because season three isn't completely out yet. And I don't like waiting. Oh, okay. Well, they did the so you're question. talking about Penelope, right? Right. Yeah. We wouldn't oh. talk about Penelope. She's the hot one. You think she's hot? Yes. Oh. What, you don't think she's hot? I don't, I think the prettiest one was the first, the, the one that got married in the first season. Yes. Bridget, that's me. She was like a porcelain doll. Yeah, but he was also kind of stupid and ignorant. She got married without knowing how people get pregnant. She was naive. 
Well, wait a second. I and then again. Had Are you it. getting married without knowing how people get pregnant? Uh, no, I. I, had I that. mean, you're only 19. We were taught that in school. But wait a second. Yeah. I haven't watched it. Like I said, the third season yet. Yes. But isn't one of Penelope's sisters married and not understanding? Like. No, life? no, no. That's not what it is. One of the I don't I don't track the characters as well as Carol does, so you really have to ask her to catch me up. But there is um, one character who's going to lose her fortune unless one of her daughters has a male heir. So she's been harassing her. The lady with the red hair, right? Feather, fe uh, feathering thing. Yeah, uh, whatever. Penelope's mother. Yes, but she's, she has two married daughters and she's harassing both of them to have kids already. Right. Um, one of them even says, spoiler alert, one of them even says, she says, well, have you been doing what you need to do to make children? And she said, well, we did it once on our honeymoon. I suppose we'll get around to doing it again. I saw a thing on TikTok where yeah. the mother was like, well, what happens when he inserts it? And she goes, inserts it where? Yeah, exactly. That's what she said. Then I was like, oh my God, this show is so funny. Um, it really goes to show you can't keep your daughters ignorant and want grandchildren. Very true. Then you know me because I have ADHD. Yeah. I found out that they have a show called Queen Charlotte too, which yeah. is like all about the queen. So I started watching that too. And now it's all mixed up in your head. Yeah, but I'm like, oh my god, I think Queen Charlotte's even better than Bridgerton. Really? I don't even. I didn't. I don't much care for Queen Charlotte. She gets on my no, nerves. No, her show. Like her how show. She becomes the queen. Oh. And it's, it's very interesting. Because me, like, uh, it, it really goes into about the king. Because, you know, the king has special, he's crazy. Yeah. So it goes into that, and, like, it's pretty cool. She marries him. No, I remember. She marries him even though she's crazy. He's crazy. Well, they were already married when she found out. Right. Yeah. That show, I love that show. You know, in uh, season three, Penelope's going to have a lot of nude scenes. No way, really? Really, the actress demanded it. Really? Yes, she said. Um. Um. That uh, when she's eighty, she wants to be able to look back at this show. And see just how hot she was as a, when oh, she was younger. Funny. Um, and uh, okay, we still have eleven minutes left. But uh Um, I don't know how much we're going to be able to get off. Well, that's like a lot of the hundred chips coming off. The hundred chips are coming off, but the thing, you know what the big problem with the hundred chips are? Yeah. They're only worth a hundred. Listen, a hundred's better than nothing. Yeah. It's exactly a hundred better than nothing. Yeah. That's because, well, the Steeler slot's got a thousand over there. I'm sorry? The Steeler slot has... Has gotten a thousand, mm -hmm. yeah. I think maybe more than one. You know, it was an interesting way to start a game, though, with uh, basically uh, having the tower sort of load up the back, the backfield. Yeah, we never had that happen. 
You've never had your backfield loaded up? Is that what you're trying to say? John. Yes. It has to be, I think, would they say this in Bridgington? Sorry? You have to think. Would they say this in Bridgington? Yes. No. What do you think they're doing in not getting pregnant? They are. Oh my God. I love that show. Charlie absolutely hates it. Oh, I love it. Carol loves it. My mom loves it. Gregory, like, my little brother, likes it. It's just a soap opera with lots of nudity. What's not to like? But it's just so. I just love it. I think he just doesn't like Queen Charlotte because uh, he always wanted to be Queen of England. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, we got a thousand. We got one thousand off. Okay. So you and uh, me and uh, you and Chuck were supposed to go away. What happened? Well, Do you have a good time? What? We're supposed to take a trip. I know, but you know what? We got very busy. And we did a lot of like shopping and we just enjoyed each other and being home and Yes, enjoying each other is the phrase they would use on Bridgerton. No. We watched Bridgerton. Yes. But you said to Chuck hates that Bridgerton. Just because he hates it doesn't mean he doesn't get that or watching it, he's gotta watch it. But you said he enjoyed it. You were enjoying yourself. Oh well we enjoyed it. He was watching his computer and I was watching Bridgerton. But we just like well, why do you think I need Carol to, to stop every once in a while and have Carol catch me up? Got it. Typical guy. No, I like Bridgerton. It's, it's very funny. It's very well written. It's and very I, well written. I really like Penelope. I do too. Who's also, what's her name? La Lady Witherington? The one that spreads the gossip in her it's gossip Whistle Down. Whistle Down. Whistle Down. Down. You never, I can't remember the name. Um, well, she is Lady Whistle Down. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh. She's also... And it, that's why I like this show, because when I was, like, growing up... Well, not growing up, but, like, my favorite... What do you mean when you were growing up? They let you watch it at 15, four years ago? No, but I loved Gossip Girl. Do you remember Gossip Girl? No, I was too busy listening to Gossip. Oh. Well, Gossip Girl, it's very similar to this, but on the upper left side. So this was... Right up my Stop it with the quarters. That time it was you. That was me. Hey, I own up to it. Now. Yeah, that's what confessional is for. Yeah, true. What's your take on Colin? I found it a little. I thought it was a little too easy. That he kissed her once and suddenly was madly in love with her. Yeah. What, he, he I didn't know she, she's such a great kisser that it's everyone else's fault for never having kissed her? Well, I think they liked each other for a long time. Well, they were friends for a very long time. Right. She was hot for him, but she, oh, he wasn't. Oh, God. Because remember in the first season, he wanted to marry her cousin, and she did everything in her power to not let that happen. Right. I wonder if he's going to find out that she did that in this um, in this season. I, you know what? I didn't even think of that. Again, haven't watched this season. Right. Well, there's only been three episodes so far. Right. What do they come out? Like every Friday or? Um. Well, they all came out at once. Okay. And on June 16th. The rest come out? Another three come out. So they're releasing them three at a time. Interesting. Mostly just to annoy you. Yeah, seriously. Hey, so everybody, that Fire Island house I've been talking about for autistic kids, it's done. Woo it's done. It's on the market. Um, you can find it on uh, Fire Island Sales and Realty, which is F I S R dot com. Okay, you should totally link it. It's called. I will. It's called Spectrum House. That was my quarter, but it didn't go anywhere. Um, it's called Spectrum House. And it's, as far as I know, the only property 
in the country that has been physically set up to be right for autistic kids. I love it. And if you guys, watchers, know any but I have other ones that are, let us know. Yes, because, um, and you know, people are saying, well, if it does well, aren't you afraid they'll steal your idea? And it's like, I want them to steal their idea. I'm just trying to do a proof of concept here. Would you think about doing it anywhere else? I'm, you know, I don't really want... I know Fire Island because I grew up going there. Right. I'm not really interested. I mean, if they wanted to call it Spectrum House, they'd have to pay me for the name. But other than that, I don't care. Yeah, okay. Or if somebody comes to me and says, we'd like to, you know, buy the franchise rights from you. You know, you know me, Britt. I never say no to money. No. So what, what, so what that means... Yeah, I get it. That would mean they have the right to set up other things that are called Spectrum House. Got it. All right. Assuming this goes as well as I hope. It's, it's oh, only I been in the market for like two days. I think it's going to go great. It's such an amazing thing. Um, I have at least one interview scheduled. Hopefully I'll get more. Awesome. You know, I don't know what it is about these... Hours though they slide forward. It's like they're glued together. This they slide forward just nicely, but even even if they were glued together, if they slid forward just a little bit more, right, we have a chance. Um, it, it would all fall out of our way. I wish the jewels were worth something. Yeah, we got almost all of those off. Yeah. I like this one. It's almost as big as your and your engagement ring. Kind of. That's awesome. So I can't believe that after all these months of bugging me to come to one of my stand-up gigs, I invite you to one, and you say, no, I can't go. It's Father's Day. And I said, just bring your father. I know, but he, has, he picks a whole day of events of what he wants to do. Well, you keep asking me what I want for my Father's Day present. You want me to have somebody bring Aaron to your show? No, because he might make... It, it doesn't work. Um, also, if he sees a bunch of people at a microphone, he starts to really get annoyed that no one's singing. I can understand that. Um, and he's come and seen me once, and he stood up and applauded, but that was it. Do you think he would like karaoke? If he knows the song, absolutely. Well, he gets to pick it. If he gets to pick the song and they have the song he wants, yeah, I think he would like that. Any chance to sing in front of the crowd. I was thinking about that. Somewhere we have some tapes of him at the uh, um, talent contests at the uh, camp. Ooh, that spasm might be coming off. We have like one minute left, almost, and we're starting to run low on quarters because it's the uh, Steelers slots are stealing all our quarters and our thousand chip. Yeah, I think the, the thousand chips getting stuck behind the uh, tower was kind of the idea. And it's off. 
Oh, the thousand chip got it dog? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. That's it. Time's up. All right. Okay. I don't think that was that bad. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. No. I'm very tempted to just knock these, uh, this stupid tower off, but I don't want to make a mess. Making a mess is, is Brit's job. So I'm just going to push these all back out of the way. Um, and, uh, even all move together. I'm telling you right and we're going to do the, uh, um, the countdown. Let's, we might as well do it right now. Okay. Um, Sorry. let's start with the thousands. Two thousand, three thousand. Good. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand. So that's four thousand altogether. Mm-hmm. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's forty-five hundred. One, two, three, four, five. That's five thousand. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Five thousand five hundred. Five thousand six hundred. Five thousand seven hundred. I love the way you stall out between like five and six. I know. I forget what comes next. <laughs> um. So I guess that's about it, gang. Um. We thanks for watching. We didn't do too bad. Um. Um. I think. That uh, tower was never supposed to last. It was always just supposed to just charge up the back, mm. um, which is a uh, which is a good thing. Yeah, and I think this was the obstacle to see if they would come around it. Yeah, and uh, all I could say is the Fire Island House is done. Woo! I can go back to writing press releases, which is what I you know part of what I do for a living in the first place. Just all about me. There you go. And I loved being out at the house because I was sitting there and I invited the whole community in to see how we had set it up. And uh, so basically I spent the weekend lazing around with my wife, having everybody in the community walk through and tell me how amazing I was for it and how wonderful I was and how, you know, they didn't say brilliant exactly, but I could tell in their eyes they meant brilliant. Music to his ears, everybody. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm only in this for the brilliance. Yep. John's favorite songs. People telling him how good he did. Yeah. It's a great song. You should listen once in a while. John. John's brilliant. Da, 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 da. John's brilliant. Na, 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 na. And on that note, ciao, ciao for now. And ciao, ciao for now from John. Bye. Bye.